So by the time I went to my 35 week appointment, uh, 35 and three days, they were like, well, baby's heart rate is not coming down. It's a little high and your, your blood pressure is a little high. So um, we think baby's trying to tell us, let's, let's come out today. So we're gonna take her out. So um, we went up and I was already a planned C-section anyway, cause I had a C-section with this little guy. And um, yeah, Hi, so mommy. yeah, <laughs> yeah um, 35 weeks, three days, she was born. Oh. Initially, I had planned to come home on the third day, third night, but my blood pressure was still kind of iffy. So um, I was kept another night just to monitor my blood pressure, just to keep it on a, to see if I would need to go home on medicine or kind of like that. So I stayed four nights and um, was discharged on that fourth night, but was able to room in with her on the fifth night. So she was discharged after five nights. It was very helpful um, being local um, because of the situation that we had to where mom and baby needed a little extra care than uh, a usual normal pregnancy. I don't know, I was talking with him and then the nursing staff, the labor and delivery and postpartum care, I feel like they like, truly make you feel like you're the only patient they're taking care of when you know that's not the case but the ease of not having to go anywhere not having to transport from here to an hour or hour and a half away um, that, that's a world of difference in itself right there and like it was kind of hard enough being away from him as much as I was and it just helped ease that like being local and him being able to come and just at least tell me goodnight, you know. She blew, <laughs> she blew out her diaper. She blew oh. out. <laughs>